Right, but I'm going to stop asking. I mean, disaster movies are quite rare. We only sort of maybe get one or two every kind of few, uh, every so often. I was wondering, they're such wonderful cinematic occasions. Have you always been a fan of this subgenre? And was it one you always wanted to tackle? Um, it's interesting when I when I set out to make the movie, um, and, and I know it sounds naive. I didn't. I wasn't focused on making a disaster movie. To be honest with you, I, I was really focused on. The family element. I was focused on the the lead characters, um, so that kind of came after. the other, The other thing is that with this movie, I didn't I didn't look at other films. I tried to kind of stay away from influences and just kind of make my own film. Now, in retrospect, I look at it and go, "Wow, I'm really proud that it does stand up in that category because there are great films." Um, for me, I think the best was Titanic because in a way it kind of transcended a disaster movie. You didn't even really think of it as a disaster movie because it had the love story and it had the great characters. And so I think um, that's kind of what I was trying to do. I was trying to do a movie, though it's a disaster movie, but it would still give you the you know the jokes, the the great heart, the, the, the great love story, all of that. So um, it's funny, I never even really thought of it as a disaster movie as, as I was making it. Um, so I never was like, oh, I want to make a movie that stands amongst these movies. I just really wanted to make a great movie that not only just gave you the spectacle that you expected out of one of these films, but also gave you the heart and the emotion and all the intimate stuff too. Well, it is very much a character study of this kind of one family. I was wondering if it was quite a challenge to find that intimacy amidst the kind of destruction and grandiose setup. It wasn't a challenge only because it was my number one priority constantly. It was the one thing that I just kept my eye on every day no matter what the scene was so like even if it's uh, Emma escaping the rooftop or um, you know Dwayne trying to steal the truck it was always about how is this person going to do this how would this be real how would you ground this so even within the big the big kind of scale epic set pieces I was still trying to focus on them and how they felt in those moments and make sure that was really clear so that when it did get to a quiet, you know, conversation scene like in the airplane or when they're driving, I was still in the same headspace. I was still, where are they now? How is their dynamic? Um, so it was, it was, it was challenging obviously because we're flying helicopters and blowing up buildings and whatever, sinking buildings and everything. But it was also the thing that I was always, always focused on. And was it ever quite sort of chilling when making this movie, particularly when kind of designing the whole kind of destruction? Because, I mean, despite the fact this is obviously a, a fictional movie, it's sort of grounded in something that's very real, you know? I mean, was it, was it ever quite kind of, did you ever have to stop and kind of take a moment when you were kind of depicting, I guess, you know, a place you know very well, just up in kind of... It, it's funny because that didn't happen... I had the moment that you're describing, but it didn't happen in a destruction moment. It happened in a couple of emotional moments. At the end of the movie, uh, um, Carla and Dwayne go through something pretty traumatic with her daughter. And when I was recording it, I actually couldn't watch the monitors. When, when, when Dwayne and Carla kind of have this moment where they break down, it was so gut-wrenching. It was so raw and honest and emotional. And we've all seen kind of good acting and we've all been around it a little bit. And, you, usually people hold, in real life and, you know, as well as when they're acting, they, they have a little bit of armor on, they're protecting themselves. It's just a human instinct, just to protect yourself. That was gone. And the performances, I think, are so raw because they trusted each other, they trusted me, they threw it away. But there was a couple moments when filming it, I couldn't watch it. Because it was so, it felt so private, it felt so raw, it felt so real. Those moments were chilling for me because I was so proud of them for what they were doing, and it was unbelievable. I'd never seen it. I'd never been on a set where someone was so present, you know? So I had those chilling moments, but in just a very different way. Dwayne is a, a remarkable actor. Just He's not The Rock anymore, is he? I mean, he's actually, I mean, I think a lot of people still see him as... Oh, it doesn't say The Rock on the poster. No, he's, I've noticed that. I yeah. went through the history of his posters, and I was like, at first they were like The Rock, and then eventually they were like Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Now they're just Dwayne Johnson. Because, yeah. I mean, he is a really great actor and he and must be a great person to have around the place as well because I've met him before and he's such a kind of bubbly charismatic guy. <laughs> bubbly. <laughs> bubbly um, <is> <laughs> um, he's yeah no you're absolutely right he's you know I, I it's so it's so great working with people where you can just say how good they are do you know what I mean and it and that's the way I feel about the, the whole cast but obviously Dwayne is the star and he's leading by example and he's such a great collaborator and I always say He's, he's a, a very, very talented entertainer, obviously. He's a very talented actor. But 
beyond all that, he's such a great person. He really is a good guy. He really is like what you're saying, you know, charismatic, charming, fun. So even when it's a hard day and you're blowing dust on people and screaming because the fans aren't working right or something, you know, like it's so stressful and busy and chaotic. He's having a good time, you know, he's there to get the job done, but he's also keeps it in perspective and he's such a good guy. I was so lucky to work with him again and, you know, I'd, I'd do it a thousand more times. I'm not going to tell him I called him Bubbly though. I, I, want, I just get Bubbly. <laughs> I, just get, I mean, like, you can call him a lot of things. Bubbly is, yeah. he'll be like, listen, we can do better than Bubbly. <laughs> Brilliant. Thank you so much for your time. Yeah, much you appreciated. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys. Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey! hey.